Hi everyone, welcome back to FM Garda YouTube channel. Today we'll continue our journey with Inter season 2001-2002. We just lost our Derby de la Madonnina against AC Milan in the previous episode and today we'll find another center back to strengthening our defensive department. As we know that the squad depth here show that only Marco Materazzi has a four stars and Ivan Koroba two and a half stars and the other backup is below three stars and below so we now go into the scouting section the player search and then we will find a center back and also the filter is the ball playing defender who can defend I will set the non essential attribute for the defender into 10 and then we find one player here that met the our requirements as a ball playing defender and his attributes looks promising however if we can ask the agent about the availability we know that his value is 14.5 million 14.5 juta tapi um, transfer budget kita cuma 4,2 ya cuma 4,2 only 4.2 transfer budget we'll see if the agent can have a good news however no the asking price is 24.5 million until 33 million so I think we don't have any chance to sign him but yeah we only have 4.2 and the price is too high for us however we'll try to interact with board and ask if the board can sign Rio Ferdinand for us because signing Rio Ferdinand would help, would help me achieve my goals this season okay let's go oh that's good news the board agreed to purchase Rio Ferdinand for us and then let's continue yeah, Pereira Alvaro Recoba scored two goals in the Derby de la Madonina. The 3 2 score against us. And uh, yeah, AC Milan is really, really strong at that time in the season 2001 2002. Okay, and some over here. However, I will reject it first. And then I will offer. Francisco Farinos again two other clubs with a higher price and then another offer for Fratislav Gresko and also I will reject first and then I will offer him also with a higher price okay the Ferdinand contract discussion negotiation is uh, handled by Giuseppe Marotta and then we'll see if we can get him oh the offer for farinos is only 2.2 oh okay porto agree oh and then this is our present this is our present from the board that rio ferdinand signed for us for 31 million euro yeah with our transfer budget that's only 4.2 million so there is nothing wrong asking your um, board to fund your expensive transfer so your team will be improved so i will accept that this is a gift from management thank you massimo moratti i will persuade gresco to leave the club okay and then um perugia i will i will change oh mandatory future fees 1.9 it's not bad i'll accept that over however i will i will offer gresco once again to other club with 2.8 million okay this is my second try to get the best from gresco okay rio ferdinand join us okay and then Porto make offer for Gresco and I will cancel I will cancel another offer for Gresco 
which is uh, the the cheap one um Newcastle I will cancel later day I'll cancel later day I will come back again to Gresco Ooh, Gresco agreed to accept Porto contract so 2.8 million is going to our bank okay good news how about the Farinos over? Farinos over is not complete yet. Port is still negotiating contract with Porto. Oh, the transfer deadline passed. That means that we cannot buy any player. However, our team in the foreign country can still buy our player. Okay, Francisco Javier Farinos accept Porto contract over and then 3.7 million is going to our bank account and yeah let's praise them for the last time and just continue so our our finance transfer budget is 6.8 million euro with, and then we can also secure your Ferdinand's service for us so that's the conclusion of our transfer window um let's see what's the what's clarence sedorf wants from here um yeah i think that's here's a very good player for us we will offer him a new contract and the contract is not the biggest one so we'll offer him some raise 67 is enough okay so i think our business is finished now <coughs> let's see the performance of our team in the transfer market so from the the transfer history here we can secure um sergio concesao told though is secure before i come so so this is the, the the result fabio aurelio comes from valencia for 3.2 million and then andres iniesta the young andres iniesta for 70 17,000. charles puyol of barcelona 8.75 million ruslan dikmatulin from Lokomotiv moscow for 3.7 million juliano belletti for 2.2 million charlie charlie hearn from millwall free this is must be my director of football work to transfer him in to Inter Milan and then Cristiano Ronaldo from Sporting Lisbon we bought him for 18 million euro and the last one the last piece of this team is Rio Ferdinand that we bought from Leeds United for 31 million euros from for the transfer out we have Luigi Di Biagio going to Barcelona for 6.75 million and then Michel Serena to Aldo Heil for 675,000 and then Gulli to Manchester United for 7 million potential fee and then Benoi Koe for Shabab Al Ahli for 775,000 potentially become 975,000 and then Adriano going on loan to Vicenza that will be benefit him for playing time more playing time than he needs to fight Ronaldo and Fieri and Nicola Fentola also Mohamed Kalon in this my inter team and then Andres Iniesta going on loan also to Genoa and then Charlie Hearn to Teramo and Fratislav Gresko going to Porto for 2.8 million and then the last one is Francisco Farinos going to Porto for 3.7 million and then that's all for today I hope that you um, still following us in order to win something for Inter season 2001-2002 and don't forget to share like and subscribe into this channel put your comment if you have something to say about about this journey and see you again in the next episode bye bye